for the first time or once again to uh, Murfreesboro Parks and Recreation. Um, here at SportsCom, we are going to do a short total body exercise class for you today. And I said 30 minutes in the last one I did. I think it ran over, so I'm not even going to tell you a time. It's just going to be less than an hour, all right? So today, in this particular class, we are using equipment. I wanted to give those of you who have equipment at home a chance to pull it out, dust it off, and use it. However, you don't have to have a legitimate set of dumbbells. You can use what is around your house. Cans, water bottles, anything that has some weight to it. But what I do want to caution you with that if you are using some sort of modified uh, version of a hand weight, make sure it's something that you can grip safely. All right. I don't want anything that's too big or too small or too slick so I don't want you dropping it on yourself okay there's no point in coming and doing these exercise classes trying to um, keep up your health and improve your health if you're going to injure yourself all right as always if we do anything that doesn't feel right it doesn't feel comfortable or it hurts stop I don't want you hurting yourself if I do anything in this class that you have been told by a doctor or a physical therapist not to do don't do it do what's right for you and for your body. So pay attention, make sure you're not doing anything that hurts yourself, make sure that you're good and comfortable the entire time. So let's get started and I will talk you through what we're gonna do while we're doing the, the warm up, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna do some tiny little step outs, okay? Just warming up, getting those legs going, okay? So just forward and back. Itty bitty moves if you're warming up, if you've already done the first half hour or if you're combining this with something else, you can go a little deeper and you can turn this warm up into, you know, just a um, equipmentless exercise in itself. Okay. Find your level, stay at your level, push yourself. You can open up the arms, add a little bit more movement, add a little bit more muscles. All right, give me two like this and we're gonna change direction just a little bit. All right, one more. So today, now I want you to step off to the side and reach and come out to the side and reach. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three blocks of weighted exercise, two exercises, two body group hearts per block. We're gonna do three sets of 10 of those two exercises per block. Then once we finish that up, give me two more of these, we will go into a little cardio section and we'll finish up with a little bit of core, all right? So we're gonna open the arms up and wide and then round them forward, bring the hands together. Hands go out, wide, hands come forward and together. Opening up that upper body, opening up that chest. Three more. So I want you, now this is gonna be difficult because you're working from home, but I want you to use the heaviest weights that you can, last one right here, and come into that standing cat cow. So I want you to use the heaviest weights that you can, round it and sway it so that when you get to eight or nine on those repetitions that you really feel challenged and you feel like 10 is all you can do. Give me two more. Last one. Now if this warm up wasn't enough for you and you need to warm up a little bit more, we've abbreviated everything just for time span. Pause this or warm up before you join uh, the class next time because you're gonna play this again, right? I hope you do. All right, so our first exercise that we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get right down on the floor and get to those exercises. I'd love for you to have two sets of weights. It's not a deal breaker if you don't, but I'd like for you to be able to switch from heavy to light uh, if you need to so you can get the best bang for your buck. First exercise that we're going to do, pretty straightforward, old school. You're going to lay down. Arms by your side, and we just got a nice little chest press, okay? Nothing fancy at all. 
Then we're going to go from that chest press. You can keep your weight or you can lighten your weight. And we're going to go into a skull crusher. Now the thing about the skull crusher, I need those elbows right over the shoulders. Okay? And please remember that skull crusher is just a fancy cute little name for the exercise. It is not a suggestion. So please don't drop the weight or smash yourself in the head. These, this one is going to be one where you really want to make sure that if you're using something that isn't a legitimate dumbbell, that you've got a good weight and a, a good grip to it so that you don't bash yourself in the skull. So we're going to go ahead and start. So lay them down, get those heavy weights, and we're going to get that chest press. we got 10 of them, okay? So I want you to really press up, find those pec muscles, find them with your brain, and squeeze them. Press up, back of the arms, kiss the floor. Now, if you want to make this harder, and you know how, go ahead and make it harder. I'm not going to show you because I'm just trying to do something basic. Okay, I'll show you real quick. All right, and there's 10. Good, change up. Set yourself up for those skull crushers. Drop those shoulders down, elbows over the shoulders. Press up, one. Bend and straighten from the elbow. Down and up. Keep your shoulders down, your back flat, your upper back flat. Two more. Nine and 10, good. Now, take a quick breather. Normally it'd be about 15 seconds or so, but I really doubt you're pushing yourself too hard with the weights because you just probably don't have heavy weights at home. So we're gonna go ahead and keep going, all right? Here's that chest press. So if you had like really heavy weights, you might wanna take a little bit longer of a break. But I'm just betting that not very many of you have a full set of weights at home. So we're shooting for some non-stop work. Two more. And ten. Good. Change those weights if you need to. A little bit lighter for those skull crushers. Down and up. Now, I moved a little bit faster than I should have. You want to be nice and smooth, nice and slow on that return. Okay, so don't just drop the weight down. Don't just let it go back. Stay in control the entire time. And I think I'm going to do an extra one right here. All right. One more set of these, and we'll keep going. This is our last round of these. So put forth the most effort that you can, and we'll try to slow it down a little bit. So nice, strong up, smooth control down. Now, this helps a lot if you can visualize the muscles that you're working. So you can get an extra little contraction there. So picture those pec muscles and really squeeze them and engage them as you go up. Especially if you've got a lighter weight than what you're normally used to. You might want to mentally increase. Here's your last one. That resistance. Good. Set yourself up. Change your weights if you need to. We've got those skull crushers. All right, down and up. One. Now if that weight's too heavy, too, but I'm just gonna stick with it. Nope. You gotta challenge yourself every now and then, or you don't grow. My form is horrible. <laughs> Nine and ten. So that was a perfect example of what not to do. Okay, change your weights if you need to. Don't push yourself unless you're sure you can keep good form the whole time, all right? Okay, so we're coming up now. Our next exercise is gonna be a shoulder 
press. Okay, and then we'll flip over into a, a bent over row. Okay, so a shoulder press and a row. Get those weights close by to you in case you have to change them out. All right, is that enough break? That's enough break. So I want you to grab those weights. And we're gonna start with that shoulder press. So the weights come up, good straight spine and press up 10. Now don't arch your back. If your back starts to arch, your weight's too heavy or maybe you're a little too tired. You also have the option of alternating. That's how you can modify. Two more. Nine and 10. All right, we're gonna come, good tight core, okay? Find that really tight exercise shirt. Imagine you've got it on. Shrink wrap yourself, good tight core. Hinge from the hips, palms face in. All right, get that neck in alignment. Pull in and down. Two, try to get parallel. The closer you are to parallel, the more, you're, the more you're gonna work the right muscles. And we're shooting from right there in the middle, that upper back in between the shoulder blades. So at the top, pull those elbows a little bit closer together. One more for me, and 10. Good, set those weights down for a second. Catch your breath. We've got round two of those, okay? I just told you to set your weight down so I can pull my hair back. Don't think you want to see just all my hair the whole time. Maybe you do, I could be mistaken. Here we go, second set, shoulder press. Up, press up. Now notice how I've lightened my weights because my back was starting to arch. You want to be nice and tall. Good form the whole time. My chin probably wasn't where it should have been. Close enough. Two more. And here's 10. Good. Come over, change your weights if you want to go heavier. Go ahead and go heavier. Over with that flat back, let your butt and hamstrings hold you up. Pull it in, one. Now if you're kind of bored with this, two. You can change your arm position and take your elbows wide. Whatever works for you, either way, Flat back, parallel, two more, one more, good, one more set, take a little breather, that's a horrible way to breathe, breathe down low, get your last set, here we go, put it up, press up, Stay in control, good posture. Three, two, last one, one. Over for that final row. Good core, strong core, parallel, upper body, pull it in, one. Get that extra little squeeze, two. Most of us only go about 80% with that squeeze. Take it up to 80 and squeeze a little harder. See if you can get those shoulder blades to touch. They're not gonna. Well, maybe. Two more. One more for me. Good. Set that down, catch your breath. Well, I'll show you our final block of exercises. So we are going to do a squat, a little front load squat. So I want you holding your weights up here in front of you. Okay, that's going to add a little bit extra oomph because your arms are going to have to be activated the whole time. We're just adding more muscles, okay? And then we're just going to squat and come up. Pretty simple there. Then our second exercise, 
It's gonna be a bicep curl. Curling up, curling down, bending and straightening the elbow. None of this stuff. Woo. All right, I don't know what that is other than a torn up shoulder. So stay in control. So grab your weights. You should be ready and excited to go. You can have whatever stance you want on this squat, wider than normal, hips width, shoulder width, wider than shoulder, well it doesn't matter to me as long as you're safe, as long as those knees stay over the feet and behind the toes. Load it up, try not to rest on here, try to keep the weights a little bit out of the way, just a little extra muscle recruitment. All right, so here we go. Four, 10, let's see how far we're gonna go. 10. Now, I'm going down, I'm touching my elbows. This go around, because I want to sit back. Okay, nice and strong. Five, four, push, stretch, squeeze the glutes. Two, one more for me please. And that's it. Good. Change your weights if you need to. Set up for that bicep curl. Curl it up. Ten. Try to keep the upper arm. Nine. As still as you can. Three. Watch your shoulders. Don't use your shoulders. Straight up bicep. No swaying. Oops, I swayed a little bit. Two, one more, and one. Good. Should have let that weight go all the way down, but hey, take a little breather. We've got two more rounds. I'm really just giving my hands a break because of the weights. Second set, coming for that squat. Pull it up. Again, try not to rest the weight. On your shoulders, try to hold it out just a little bit. A little extra recruitment. Sit down for me. Ten. Push the butt back. Keep your big toes down. Keep that core lightly engaged. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, down and up, last one, one, good. Set it up for those bicep curls. It's just 10, come on, you can do it. 10, nine, stay tall, don't do this. Eight, all right, it's fun, but it's not gonna work your muscles. Down and up, five, four, Three, two, one. Three, two, one more for me, please. And one. Good. Set that down for a second. Shake your hands out. Shake everything out. We got one more set. Then we're gonna go into some cardio. And I'm looking at what I've got written down for the cardio. I'm regretting it as I look at it. But it's okay, we'll do it. It's only about four minutes total. I think we can handle it. Final set of those squats and curls. Set it up. Engage that core. Don't touch the weights. Here we go. Push up. Ten. Nine. Eight. Sit down into it. Sit into it. Down and up. That core is engaged. Five, four, come on, it's just four. Three, it's just three. One more, that's it. One. Good, final set of bicep curls. Good posture, glue those elbows in, curl it up. You can have this little split stance if you want, give you a little bit more support. Or just feet side by side. 
five, four, three, two, one, two, last one. Nice. Good. Take a breather. I'm setting my weight off camera. Because you don't need them anymore. We're going into cardio. So make sure that they're out of the way. Okay? This cardio, I'm probably going to regret it by the end of the day, but we'll see if we can get through it. No, it's great. It's great. So what we're going to do, 30 seconds each. Jumping jacks. All right, we, we've gone through this before, right? Jump the jacks. Burpees, a couple of ways you can do burpees. I'm probably going to do the lowest level of a burpee. So, here's your real burpee. Whee! I ain't doing that, okay? So you go down, out, in, and up. If you're really feeling crazy, you can jump. If you're feeling super duper crazy, you can put a push up in there. If jumping is not your thing, step, 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 up. Okay? So you have options. Pick your options. And then the last one, this is a new one, kind of liking it, kind of digging it. You will too. It's called the triple bear. So you're going to come down on your hands and your feet. Good straight body, good straight posture. Weight is over the knees. We're going to jump outside, inside, outside. Keeping your knees as low to the floor as possible. Okay, that's the main thing there. Is keep those knees two to three inches off the floor at most. Your modification is just stepping out and in. Okay, so do what works for you. Do what's safe for you. And we're gonna start with those jacks. So here we go. It's just 30 seconds. I hate jumping jacks, but it's just 30 seconds. We can do 30 seconds, right? Here's your modification. Okay. Here's another modification. Here's another modification. Here's your final modification. I like this one, but we can't. Five more seconds. All right, good. Let's get to those burpees, all right? Down and out. Do whatever crazy thing you want to do. Woo! All right? Or add that push up. Whatever you want to do. However, you might want to fix your shirt. <laughs> Nobody needs to see that white skin. It hasn't seen the light of day for 20 years. Out and in. Whatever your modification requires. Good. Come up. We're going for that triple bear. So we're not come up. Come down. Triple bear. I'll give you a breather after this. Set yourself up. Here we go. Now, I know I said keep your knees about two, three inches off the floor. Right? Um, but I don't want you looking at your knees. So just figure it out. Oh, I don't understand. All right. Give me a nice little puppy stretch. Catch your breath. That's round one. I'm gonna do that two more times. Now I'll try to remember to get on the mat. Second time, catch your breath. Readjust your clothing. All right. Here's our second set. Okay. I figured you'd much rather watch me tuck my shirt in, tuck my shirt in, than, you know, see skin. This is an executive decision. I think I'm in the right one. Modify if you need to. Nice. Let's get 
get that burpee. All right. Keep that core engaged. Land soft. Control yourself, all right? If things are rattling around in your house, take more control. See if you can control that. Nice. Set up for that triple there. Catch your breath. I don't know if you need to. I need to set it up. Here's that triple bear. Now, keep your weight over your hands. And if you need to, just hold the plank. Step out and in. It really doesn't matter, just as long as you're moving. Awesome. You got a little puppy. Walk it over to the side. Walk it over to the other side. Get you some water. Breathe low. Don't breathe up high. Breathe low. We got one more set of these. We're going to the core. And then we'll be done. Jacks, whoops, hold on, we'll wait for the jacks. I forgot the need cushion. Now remember, light on your feet. See how quiet you can do these. All right, so here's your modifications. Stay low. It's just 30 seconds. Almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, we stopped like two seconds early. Really, really don't think anybody's gonna care about that. Catch your breath. Come on, grab me. A little bit wrong. Put a, war, a cool down or a stretch after this. 
because of time constraints. So I'd like for you to make sure you stretch when you're done. Let's get this core over and done with. So here's our first move. We're not starting to count yet, but our first move is a reaching sit up. Okay, it's not a roll up because we're not coming down. Arms stay here. Oh, roll up and down. Try to keep your feet on the floor. Um, try not to hurt yourself. If, if you don't want to do that, just do a regular crunch. Okay? Whatever you need to do to work your core. Second exercise is going to be this lovely little crisscross. Bicycle, whichever you want to do. Okay? Again, so you're taking the opposite chest to the opposite thigh for a nice good rotation. And then that other leg just shoots out as straight and as low as you want. All within safety um, levels for you, okay? Here's your modification for that. Okay. Here's your other modification. So, I gave you choices. So let's start 30 seconds with that ab reach. Now, oh, see my feet came up a little bit. Use your core nice and tight. Okay, keep that shriek wrap going on. So you still got that really tight shirt on. Don't want anybody to see the biscuits popping out of the can. All right, up and down. Lower it down. Give me that crisscross. Chest to Five. Now you go as fast or slow as you want, okay? These are timed. Anytime we have timed exercises, you get to put whatever level of uh, effort you want, okay? So I'm going through some modifications for you here. Okay. Whatever works for you. Relax. We have two more sets. This is where I choose to relax this time. All right, that should be enough. Breath is caught. We're ready to go. Shrink wrap that core. Pull it in all the way. 360. Reach the arms up. And oh, that was a bad one. The first one's always bad. Two. Keep that core engage. Ugh. Now modify. Okay, if you're starting to feel yourself get tired, especially if you've already done some type of workout today, modify. Set this up and just make it a regular crunch. It really doesn't matter to me. What does matter to me is that you do it right within good form and you do it safely. Relax down, crisscross. Yeah. You can just do this too. You know, you don't have to do the upper body. You don't have to do the lower body. You have options. Use them. Core is tight. Core is in control. And relax. One more round to go. And we're done. Catch breath, breathe down low. Keep patting my belly, but down here, the lower lungs, not in your collarbone. One more, final set to go. Engage that core. And pull it up. Yep, first one is always the rough one. Oh, actually, I guess all of them are gonna be rough now, huh? Make sure you're using your core and right your back and or your neck or anything like that. Tighten those abs. Modify if you need to. I'll go for one more. Nice. Stay down. 
Set up for that crisscross. Here we go, 30 seconds. stretch at the end of this. Let's stretch your back, stretch your chest, stretch your core. Spend at least another 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes um, stretching. You can also follow this up with Kim's Yoga, which we have on the Parks and Rec's Facebook page, or with um, some of my Tai Chi videos, which we also have on Parks and Rec's Facebook page, as well as you can find something on YouTube if you want to take this a little bit further, but ball, definitely don't just stop cold. Slow your heart rate down, stretch it out, walk around the house a few times. Make sure that you don't stiffen up. Thanks so much for joining me today uh, for this, and thanks for joining me for all of the exercise videos, if you have the ones that we've already done uh, in the past, but especially thank you today. This will be available on Facebook, um, Facebook, Parks and Rec's Facebook, it's available as well as SportsCon's Facebook, so it's available anytime you want it. Channel 3 is also here today for this one and our other video, so they will have these, these will be available on YouTube um, sometime in the near future. Watch Facebook, uh, we'll be able to tell you when that will come up so that you can watch us on YouTube or share this with some friends who don't have Facebook who might be interested in doing these exercises. So thanks for attending and y'all have a great rest of the day.